relax your mind Kick back and just unwind Don't let this moment overcome you Cause you need this vibe Music, it takes me there Places where I don't care I'm overflowing in this motion You can't help but stare Flowing like up and down Spinning around and round Back up and touch the ground I'm making but I can't sit down Moving from side to side Feel good cause I'm alive Don't you feel jealous Just get up and it's help me feel this vibe going on youtube it's your main man mr council back with another one saturday motivation you know how we do until saturday because saturday is the day that's uniquely our own most people work a nine to five and so when they get to saturday they feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas but most artists creatives business minds know that saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business championship saturday folks um y'all know i've been talking about my team for the past few weeks um, we got an opportunity to win the city championship today with my boys. My girls lost the division um, championship last week, which was heartbreaking. But nonetheless, it's been an incredible season. I don't want to make this whole video about that. I just wanted to mention it because I heard something this week from the brother Les Brown. Um, he's one of the go-to guys that I listen to for motivation, knowledge, information. And he said something that put everything into perspective. And he said that adversity introduces a man to himself. Adversity introduces a man to himself. We all know what we're like on a day-to-day. -day. We all know what we're like on our daily struggles through life. But when it's that pressure moment, when everything begins to close in, when you have to rise to the occasion, that is the moment where life introduces you to yourself. That's the opportunity that you get to see what you're made of. The sort of metal that you have inside of you to be successful. A lot of us talk about success. A lot of us want success, but it's more like a daydream than reality. And the whole thing about it is you only know how much you can do in your preparation. I see a lot of us don't prepare ourselves the way that we should to face the struggles in life that we're going to face. And so we just pray for outcomes. We pray for outcomes. We pray for things that we don't deserve all the time. And I'm a victim of that as well. I've done it plenty of times in my life. But over the past few years, the spirit of tenacity has just been bleeding through my veins um, anything in life that I want I'm going to spend everything I have to get it and see adversity is is an incredible teacher because it shows you who you are because if you don't succeed are you going to give up even if you give your best and you do everything that you can to succeed in preparation, if you don't succeed, are you going to give up? And if you win, are you going to be filled with the spirit of arrogance? And see, God doesn't allow us to win in life until we are ready physically, mentally, and spiritually. Because he's trying to teach us something. And not only is he trying to teach us something, he's trying to teach the world something through us. He's trying to teach the world something through us. And that's why you have to separate yourself from your gift. Because you have to understand that it is a gift. It was given to you. And that gift wasn't given to you so you can run with it like you're the greatest. It's to acknowledge God through your gifts so people can see him working through you. So I am thankful for all my successes in life because I have a deep understanding that it is not me. It's not about me. It's about what God is trying to do through me. And that's what you have to understand. And until you can remove yourself from what's going on around you, you will never truly win. Because if you do win and you make it about you, those wins won't last and you will not ultimately be happy. 
you won't be happy. And I'm not saying life is about happiness, but you shouldn't be miserable in, in the midst of greatness. And if you are, that's because you made it all about yourself and not what God is trying to do through you. That's what we have to understand. So adversity introduces a man to himself and it lets you know who you are when things get tight. Are you going to crumble? Are you going to fold? Are you going to succumb to your fears? Or are you going to step in your glory and be the man or woman that God is making you to be? Adversity is something awesome. It's something to be embraced. It's not something to run away from. See, when the chips are down, are you going to fold? When the chips are down, are you going to give up on yourself and the people that have worked hard to get you where you are? Or are you going to stand and be a man and a woman that you need to be in that moment, in that minute, in that hour? And take your success and give the honor to God and show the people what God has done through you and your success. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's about helping each other get to a next level. And if you want to make everything good in your life all about you, you will end up all alone with your success. And success is not a fun place to be when you're all by yourself. You want to share success. You want to share your gifts. You want to share everything that God has placed inside you, all of the things that you've learned along your journey. That's what it's about. So when you finally meet yourself in the moment of adversity, who are you going to be? And you won't know until that moment comes. We all say it all the time. Well, if that was me, I would do this. If that was me, I would do that. You don't know what you would do until you're faced with that moment. So when you're trying to build a business, if it's not successful within the first few years, are you going to give up? When you're trying to lose weight, if you're not successful within the first few years, are you going to give up? When you're trying to accomplish something great and everything around you seems to go wrong, are you going to give up? Or are you going to believe in the work that you've done and the, the things that God has done through you and charge on no matter what the outcome? Because see, all God did was give you an opportunity to be great. He doesn't promise you greatness. You get an opportunity. And then you meet yourself, your true self, when that opportunity appears. And I'm telling you now, opportunity is knocking. I'm going to kick that door in. And I hope you do the same. Because God is counting on you. He's counting on you to work to feed his people and you should feel blessed and honored that he chose you no matter what that gift is he chose you so don't get filled with the spirit of arrogance get filled with the spirit of gratitude be thankful for where God is taking you whether you win or lose it's the journey it's who you become along the way and if you're becoming better on the inside, man, it's nothing like it. It's nothing that money or anything can replace. It's peace within. So if I can motivate you today, when adversity strikes, who are you going to be? Are you going to run towards the fight? Are you gonna put your head between your tail and run? I plan to stand and fight. And I'm thanking God for the opportunities that he's given me because I understand that he has given me these opportunities. And if I put in all the work, if I put in all the hours, if I give it everything that I have, then God will take care of the rest because of certain battles that you cannot fight by yourself. It's only so much that you can do. And he shows you that throughout your journey. Because if you forget to bring him along with you, you lost even before you started. So please understand that God is the center of everything great that you will do. 
Remove yourself from your gift and allow your gift to shine through you, not because of you. Keep your attitude in check. Keep your pride in check. Understand that you are just a vessel and you are here to be used for greatness if you allow him to use you for greatness. I got to get inside here and work this game. God has given us an opportunity and we've put the work in and now he's going to take care of the rest. So I want to thank you guys for listening. Make sure that you cop that Better Man Chronicles album. It's still on streaming platforms, Spotify, um, Apple Music, Tidal, videos all over YouTube. The greatness continues. This is only the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. This is only the beginning. That's my time. Peace to all my people in the struggle. Don't think I'm ready, might be ready. Now I'm ready for love. Don't think I'm jealous, but I felt it when I saw you someone. Okay, I'm jealous, cause I never thought you'd leave me alone. So now I'm jealous, I can't stand it, and I can't let you go. No, I just can't let you go. No, I just can't let you I thought to myself, oh, I